dripping sailor on, she got the perfect face Thumbing through the deck of 52 and she the highest rank She don't answer questions, she mysterious like the ace of spades Rebel kind of curious, but nervous one Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Ananya if you're new here, please subscribe. Welcome to a vlog. It's literally been so long since I did a vlog. But yeah, here we are. It's the 27th of September today and I have my dues at exam. I have it in the second afternoon shift basically. So it's from 12.30 to 2.30. So I'm going to be leaving pretty soon for that. And I thought I'd just share my experience with you. In case you're wondering, no, I had not been studying for the exam. I'm just giving it because why not? So yeah, that's the plan for today. And I will catch you when I'm back from the exam. And I am back home. It's actually been quite some time. I had lunch, freshened up and relaxed because obviously it was a pretty long day for me. And as for the exam, it was pretty good, like better than my expectations, honestly, because clearly I wasn't studying, so I was like, Pata kuch aega bhi ke but still I knew stuff, so that's good. The maths part was tough, like all the integration, differentiation. It's been so long since I studied that, so I didn't remember anything. But apart from that, I still felt like the paper was good, I guess. Ab jo hoga dekha jayega. Anyway, I'm waiting for 1st October that due ki first cutoff list nikle and I get to know what is the scenario with you and where I'm gonna get in etc. Right now I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching Mumbai Ka Nikhil's vlog because finally he's traveling. Like I have such mixed feelings. Like I have so much fun travel vlogs. Dekhne mein. But I'm so sad that I have to travel karna hai and I want to go out and like explore and stuff. But anyway, abhi ke liye we are just sitting at home and that's okay. But I'm just going to continue watching some YouTube videos for a while. Okay, I'm hungry already. It's time for a snack break. So as you can see, I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be sharing the best evening as well as late night snack ever. Right now, all I want to do is Netflix and chill or actually YouTube and chill. But to make that 10 times better, I'm going to be enjoying my favorite snack. That's the Gold's Frozen Food. I'm going to be having their cheesy corn bites as well as mac and cheese pops. My mouth is watering already because these are so freaking good. I've already tried them. This is my favorite snack ever. I have it all the time. So on Honestly, a major reason to love this obviously is the taste but apart from that it's completely vegetarian which is perfect for me and their foods do not even contain any kind of preservatives, trans fat or any artificial food coloring. Although it is a frozen snack but it tastes as if it has effort to So I'm really excited to share it with you guys as well. So let's get right into making it. You can obviously fry it but I'm going to be using my air fryer to make it. It'll take about 10-15 minutes in the air fryer. So this is what I'm going to be having right now but I also have have the garlic naan and malabar parathas already tried and tested by me and they taste super good but now it's time to make this snack and it's done they already smell so good i can't wait to just dig into it This is such comforting food, it makes my day so much better and I would highly recommend this range to you guys. You can buy it from gold.com, I'll put the link in the description, definitely check it out. And now I'm gonna enjoy this while watching YouTube. By the way, I did this really cool nail art on my own and I'm so proud of it. It looks so freaking good. Like I already tried nail art once. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But today I'm thinking I should complete the other hand as well. Now I have this new obsession with doing nail art on my own. I tried it for the first time and I am in love. And I feel like every I should be changing my nails. Ignore the mess, but it's finally time to do my nails. I have all the things that I require, some acetone and all the shades of nail polishes. So I made this entire board of Pinterest called Trendy Nails. By the way, follow me on Pinterest if you aren't already. So I combined two nail arts. So I combined this one, obviously did it in blue instead, with these ones. I chose the prints from here. So I'm going to start with the white nail polish first. Okay, 
so the base coat is done and now is the most difficult part that is to do the nail art but i'll try to do my best so in case you want to know how i do it it's actually quite simple you need like a very very thin brush and i just take the nail polish and do whatever design i want <laughs> that's all it's really about the patience over here because it could get really annoying otherwise I am finally done after this long process. These are what my nails look like. I didn't try to get into too much of perfection because it would take ages. I wouldn't ever get it 100% right though. This is it. Make a rough guess in the comment section as to how long do you think I took to do this nail art. Now both my hands together. So fancy. And I know just now that DU has released its like the whole schedule of the cutoffs and all that. For the next one and a half month, nothing related to college is happening because the cutoffs are going to be coming out till 16th of November. Like although Mera admission procedure will get done much, much, much before the last date. Now I'm just gonna wait for the list and see how it goes. Obviously, I'm vlogging the process because that's like the most important thing, and I know you guys would love to see that. So I'm going to be vlogging it then. But I'm just thinking that for the next one and a half month, I don't have to do anything related to academics as such. But anyway, I did a little Q&A on Instagram and I also answered a few questions for YouTube. So I'll insert the clips of that here. I did put up a question box on Instagram so that you guys could ask me questions and I do that very often so definitely follow me on Instagram if you aren't already but since so many of you guys are new here I thought I'll answer a few common questions that most of you have and I'll make a separate Q&A video soon so let me know if you're interested firstly a lot of people ask me where are you applying college details etc so I am waiting for the use cutoffs etc to come out so I'm gonna be applying there for economics honors the next common question I was asked is what do you do nowadays and I've answered that previously also but my days are very very chill if you're asking me if I do productive things then no I don't except YouTube which is extremely productive so I focus on that but otherwise I'm I'm either coloring drawing or just just chilling watching shows etc if i met the saint stephen's cut off no i didn't it was 99.5 so obviously i couldn't get in and i don't even think saint stephen's ki do teen list nikalti hai i wasn't expecting to get into saint stephen's anyway how tall i am so i'm almost 5'2 ever thought of doing ca no i did not because i didn't enjoy accounts that much and ca was really never one of my career options which do you think is better commerce or humanities from career perspective both of the streams have their own purposes it really comes down to what you want to pursue in the future and for example if you want to do something like ca obviously you will have to take commerce but if you want to do something like fashion you can take humanities as well so it really comes down to what you want to do and a lot of people also ask me like commerce with maths and without maths there's nothing like commerce with maths is better than without maths but yes obviously with maths may all your options are open and without maths maybe some of the courses will not be available but if you want to do something that does not require maths then you can totally go ahead with commerce and one last question do you get tense worried regarding due cutoffs on some days how do you deal with it so honestly i have learned it that if it's not in your control there is absolutely no point worrying about it because the due cutoffs are not in my hands i have got my 12th grade ka score and now all i can do is wait because as i said but the soch ke bhi kya hi ho jayega i will keep thinking ki cut off kya hi cut off kya hi but it's really not going to solve any purpose or help me out so i really just don't think about it i will to wait till october 1 when they actually release the cut off so i am not stressed about it at least for now and yeah i hope you enjoyed this mini q and a and yeah i'm just going to end this vlog now because i'm going to go to sleep so there's nothing more happening today i really hope you guys enjoy such random vlogs and stay tuned because there are so many more vlogs coming up and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends follow me on instagram and until next time bye